So I have YouTube looking at a new flashlight from JetBeam. This is the Jet ATH15 Tactical Series flashlight, 18650 battery. Comes with a battery and it is a rechargeable battery. It's one of the micro USB rechargeable batteries that you plug in the charger there and can recharge it. It is a um, five volt output, 2600 milliamps. It's kind of low on, on this 18650s. Comes with a lanyard, comes with this, um, comes with a pocket clip. It doesn't come with a pocket clip attached. You have this uh, um, ring here that you can kind of put in place of the pocket clip if you're going to use the holster that's included. And you get your an extra um, tail switch, which is nice. I don't know where that holster has left. It walked off. It's got its own legs and walked off, but I don't use holsters anyway. So, so let's just go over the basic specs. We're going to kind of go over in another different part of the video how the modes work. Because this light is unique and then it has um, two different mode settings and it has three different switches, which is pretty cool. But we'll go over that in a different part of the video. Uh, I just want to go over the basic specs now and kind of your, your run times and your, um, just your basic info you can, you can get from the Jetbeam website off the box here. It does take, like I said, 18650, 1300 lumens max on turbo, 228 meter throw. Um, your tactical mode, so there's tactical and outdoor mode. Um, you can access them in all the modes pretty much except for, yeah, you can even access strobe in outdoor mode. But you got turbo of 1300 lumens, high of 900, middle is 450, low is 180. Ultra low 60, eco mode 10. So it's got more modes than I even thought it had. Um, strobe is 900 lumens. Tactical mode, you're going to get strobe, ultra low, middle, high, and turbo. Outdoor, you're going to get all the modes. Um, and you're looking at about three minute runtime on turbo with 1.1 hours on high, so 900 lumens more realistically. Yeah, that's interesting that the run times are on a 3,800 milliamp battery and it gives you a 2,600 milliamp battery. Interesting. One meter um, water resistance and IPX8 standard, obviously. And 13,000 candela on this one. We'll do some beam shots as well outside. Can I give you an idea of the throw and such of this knife and the beam pattern? But, excuse me, this flashlight. I review nice and flashlights and sometimes I mix them up. So, yeah, we'll go into a different part of the video, kind of explain how the modes work. But I just kind of want to talk about the actual quality of the lights. Very high quality, very tough feels very much like a tactical flashlight that you could really beat on and it can take a, um, a beating. It's water resistant. It has two O-rings, which is interesting. Kind of double O-rings right here. Um, threading's got a little bit of gum on them, but it's good threading. They go on nice and small. They're not gritty or anything. Pretty smooth. Um, the pocket clip is your standard. It's going to stick out quite a ways. Um, not necessarily an EDC light, though. That's more of a tactical use by law enforcement or... You know, if you want to carry an EAC flash like this for tactical reasons, you could. It does not work with Thyrum um, switchback. I tried it. This is too wide. It will not fit in there at all. In fact, I got it kind of stuck in there. Luckily, I got it out without doing any uh, damage to the Thyrum. I did, did a little damage to the knurling up here, but that's all right. Um, so, build quality is great. Here's a shot of the orange pill reflector on that. Um, oh, the LED on this one is Create XP, XHP 35E2 LED on this one does have a nice, like I said, has monetary on, nice switch. We'll go over the modes here in a second. You got your switches here, and then you got a forward switch. So let's go ahead and uh, roll into that footage going over the different modes and how you can access them, and then we'll do the beam shots, and then we'll wrap up the video. We're gonna do some beam shots with the TH-15, but we're gonna go over the modes here and how you kind of access them. So right now it's on um, tap, or, excuse me, outdoor mode. So basically when you, you can uh, monetary press the light comes on the last mode you're in so it has a memory function so uh, if I came in on low last time it would come on automatically low and monetary when I click the tail switch now once I click the tail switch to move to the different light levels you just click the side switch like so low medium high and if you hold it down it goes into strobe and we're not going to do that right now because we're going to do a different mode here with strobe okay so right now it's in outdoor mode now if you want it to put it in tactical mode, you just hold the side switch down for three seconds when the flashlight's on, and you're gonna see that flash. Okay, now we're in tactical mode. So now every time I, I hit the tail switch, it's gonna come on high. And if I hit one of these back switches that we showed, strobe warning, <laughs> sorry, strobe warning, it goes right into strobe mode. So it's really cool. I like these little side switches. You got two of them on the back, um, and then you have your regular soft press for regular mode. And if you long press it, it just comes on high. And then you can also, again, cycle through, excuse me, the tactical mode does not let you, like, cycle through anything. It just, 
it's literally just high and our strobe. That's all you get. If you want the multiple modes, you got to go into the outdoor mode. So I think it's a pretty cool idea. Um, you know, not everyone's going to use this for tactical. Maybe you want to use a normal flashlight. So you just run it in outdoor mode all the time and you don't have to change anything. And it has a memory function and it still has strobe and high as well, but you have to access it a different way. To use it as a tactical flashlight and use, utilize those rear switches effectively, you want to have it in tactical mode. So you can kind of press out at any time and go into your um, strobe or your high. Again, it has, does have monetary press. And we're going to see if it ends up working out with the Thyrum um, switchback. Uh, we're going to see if that works as well, so stay tuned. All right, we're out with the uh, TH-15. High mode there. There's the shed. And strobe warning. Oh wow, it's on, stuck on. We're going to switch to outdoor mode. It's had a light flash a few times. All right, so there it is here. Different modes. Let's throw out there. This strobe is so crazy. It's like such a fast strobe. All right, guys, so some final thoughts on this Jetbeam TH-15. I do like the dual modes and how you can go outdoor and tactical, and I love this rear switch that you can instantly access the strobe. I really like that, plus the monetary on feature. So as a tactical flashlight, I think this is a really high-end high -end offering. If we're going to pay for it, though, the uh, the uh, list price is, or the price it sells for is usually $99.95, so it is a little bit more expensive. I'll put a link in the description to Amazon. Um, they should be able to, I think it's out of stock right now, but they will you will be able to buy it on there. You can buy a battery junction, um, lots of different places that sell jet beam flashlights essentially. High quality and could take a beating for sure. And I like the different modes. Um, the modes can be a little, well, one con I'd say is it's a little big. It's a pretty big light uh, for 18650. Um, there's quite a bit more compact versions like the Olite uh, Warrior that I just did a review on. Uh, the Minker E11, I believe, MC11. Um, much smaller lights than this. Um, as far as tactical lights go, though, I like a lot of the features it has. I think this switch design has also been used on a Claris flashlight, if I remember right. Um, con, I would say, is the modes can be a little confusing and kind of hard to access all the different light modes on it. And I'm not sure that 1300 lumen um, output is, is accurate. It seems dimmer than that to me, but we'll we'll get, you know, that's that can be completely objective on that one. You know, that's all just my opinion on that, so, but... It's going to wrap up the video, guys, on this Jetbeam TH-15. Any questions or comments, leave them down below, and we'll see you on the next one.